What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we have a new proposal, and this is coming in from Yabba Matt on his special new account where he wants to be able to post things from himself and not necessarily on behalf of the company, the Yabba P Matt.SPS account. So I believe this is the first proposal that he's putting up on this account. I'm excited to go through it. And it's we, we, we got a preview of this when he was on the town hall, not recently, but I think two times ago. So it's it's been like a month plus because it was the same time that he discussed Rift Watchers for DEC and we've been waiting for that. So I'm hopeful that we get the Rift Watchers for DEC proposal shortly following this one. Uh, but this is in regards to land and setting a max base production limit for land plots in phase 1.5. Uh, so I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, uh, but I will just go over the main points here. Essentially what they want to do is only allow 100,000 as the max base production, meaning that there's only a few select cards, alpha, gold, foil, legendaries, that have this amount. And therefore, if you were to use one of those cards, you could only use one of them on a on a plot of land, you wouldn't be able to use up the other slots outside of Rooney. So essentially, with the terrain bonus and with Rooney, you'd still get up to 450%. But what they're trying to avoid is having just a massive amount for somebody who has like five alpha gold for legendaries, for example, to be able to put those all on an account and then throw on a legendary totem, throw on a legendary uh, uh, Rooney or gold foil Rooney, legendary uh, title, all of those different things, and just essentially take a huge piece of the pie. So this incentivizes uh, the, I guess, the larger whales and the alpha gold foil uh, card holders to diversify out, use different plots, and... I actually think it's I think it's a I think it's great. I think it's a no-brainer. This is something that is very much protecting the smaller fish and minnows in the ecosystem rather than just allowing the whales to eat as much as they possibly can. So, you know, the team gets a lot of flack for <laughs> the team gets a lot of flack for doing things that are only whale friendly. I'm not saying that I disagree. There's a lot of stuff that's obviously catered to whales, and I don't think that's I think that's by design. And, and most of the time, I'll agree with it if uh, if I think it's good. But here's an instance that I do want to call out where I feel like they're doing something to protect the smaller players here and make it so that the the larger whales or the alpha it's not really whales alpha gold foil legendary holders can't just take a huge piece of the pie by combining all the alpha gold foil legendaries onto one plot and then on top of that compounding it with all of the major bonuses. Um, so, you know, Matt, Matt goes into this in a lot more detail here. Again, like I said, I didn't want to read this out to you. We've talked about it in previous, uh, in previous videos and live streams. Uh, and I think I even brought it up in one of the, uh, five biggest takeaways when Matt was on. So that is the basic thing here. Uh, here's the note. I'll re I'll read from here to the end. I should note, had I thought this through, and I'm speaking uh, on behalf of Matt reading the post, I, I should note that had I thought this through more ahead of time, I would have definitely added in this max production limit to the initial white paper. And we wouldn't even be discussing it here as it stands. However, we felt we did not want to make this type of significant change to the published white paper without the support of the community, and I hope that the community will support what I feel is an essential change. Finally, please note that this proposal only applies to land phase 1.5 described in the white paper here, and that future phases may or may not contain production limits, as well as having many other changes based on what the designers feel. So, this is just for 1.5, and you know, 1.5 I think is going to last a lot longer than people anticipate. I'm already thinking that Land Phase 2 may not come in until next year sometime, but either way, it's a temporary thing. It's not going to impact most people, and the pitch that Matt makes earlier in the... Um, earlier in the in the post and proposal is to those players those select few players i think it's under you know 10 to 10 to 20 max that would benefit from this not passing for example right they're the ones that have all those alpha gold foil legendary cards and so matt is just trying to appeal to them and say that this is what is best for the overall game and i trust where he's trying to take it i think that obviously obviously he admits that this was an oversight and should have been included i don't see anything wrong with that we haven't actually gotten into land it's not out yet so to me i think that this is totally cool Maybe somebody bought an Alpha Gold Foil Legendary. Maybe somebody bought five Alpha Gold Foil Legendaries in anticipation of this. And if they did, I feel I feel I feel for you. Trust me, I do. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're still going to be able to get massive, massive benefits putting them on five different plots of land and maxing out those lands. So you know, it is what it is. I'm voting for this, and it seems like it's getting overwhelming support so far. 
But that is really all I have for you guys in this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If there's any reason that you may disagree with this or want to see it changed or tweaked, I'd be curious to know. But otherwise, I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.